Hello friends, this is Vasant Nayak from Vastek channel. Please subscribe to our channel. We will update latest information for you. Thank you. Hello student, welcome back. This is Vasant Nayak from Vastek channel. So today we will see one more important instruction that is a DAS, decimal adjustment after subtraction. So we have seen a decimal adjustment for addition. Uh, Similarly, this is decimal adjustment for subtraction. That is, when you subtract uh, particular BCD numbers, the result won't be a BCD. It is in hexadecimal. So, adjustment has to be done. So, if after a sub or SVB instruction, if the lower nibble is greater than 9 or auxiliary flag is 1, then it, it should subtract 0, 1, 0 from the lower, lower nibble. Similarly, if the upper nibble is greater than 9, or carry flag is 1, subtract 0, 1, 0 from the upper nibble. That is the job of a decimal adjustment for subtraction. Let us see one example here. Program is not required. Let us see one example here. You see sub ALCL. What is there in the AL and CL? You see this one, AL and CL. AL and CL. AL contains 32, CL contains 17. You subtract 17 from 32. That time you will get 1 BH but b is uh, greater than 9 then das will what it will do it will subtract 0 6 from this answer that you'll get 1 5 now answer is 1 5 this is in bcd so that is the function of das so in exam this much you have to write this much you have to write for a das Now next one is a rotate instruction. So we have two important instruction uh, shift and rotate and students will get confused uh, in shift and rotate. Shift instruction just shift from one end to other end. It will not rotate. While writing shift instruction student will uh, uh, draw the feedback path just like rotate. No wrong. Rotate instruction is a, a totally different and shift instruction is totally different. In rotate, we have four classification. Rotate right, rotate left. Rotate right through carry. Rotate left through carry. These are the four classifications. So now you see here, this is rotate right. Just rotate right. Just rotate right. So here you can see, whatever the content here in this, uh, that will get rotated. So let me use pen. So whatever the content here, one minute. So you can see here, the content is ret uh, rotated from uh, left to right, rotate right. So here it is left to right. So here carry is there. The content will come, it, it goes to carry and at the same time it will get rotated to the other end so your feedback path direction should be like this some students uh, they will put uh, some uh, like uh, uh, meaningless direction uh, directions and all let us see here see what they will do now this direction is proper after that here also they will put one arrow this is wrong so here, what I wanted to say is the information in the feedback path should be like this. In the forward path, it should be like this. Please remember this one. Information in the feedback path. Some students, they will put uh, something like this and all. That is wrong, totally. So, here you can see, you for rotate right, you can write one example. Uh, ROR BH1. Here you take some content. This is the content. And uh, carry is 1. Initially, carry is 1. Take carry is 1. Now, rotate right the content of BH by 1. 1. That means 0 will move here. 0 will move here. Simultaneously, 0 will move. Same 0 will move to the other end. Understood? And this 1 will move to the dustbin. 
or it will go to the bin that is rotate right this is enough uh, for the, no other program is required that is rotate right now take rotate left let us take rotate left rotate left this is also same thing you see here also carry is there and uh, information uh, moves something left uh, left direction and it comes here it goes to carry but at the same time it will take the feedback path uh, and it comes like this so here the direction is like this here in the here the direction is forward path this one uh, this this way in the feedback path the direction is in the opposite way just see this one please so this is the uh, example rotate left uh, bh content by cl what is the value of cl cl value is this one 2 bits uh, it has to rotate next now next one is uh, rotate right uh, through carry what is the difference between that and this uh, here it will rotate the content to right uh, see here it will rotate the content uh, or shift the content to right uh, but it goes through carry and whatever there in the carry goes like this this is rotate through carry but the earlier case was uh, the cont rotate right was just like uh, it used to send the bit to carry but at the simultaneously same bit uh, used to go to the other end in this case it is totally different in this case this this uh, ms i mean uh, uh, in this case it is uh, lsb lsb goes to the carry whatever there in the carry will uh, get shifted to the msb side so that is rcr and you can take this example then last one is uh, in this category is uh, rcl 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 you can see rcl also similarly here also rotate left uh, through carry you see the content is shifted to left it goes to carry whatever there in the carry moves to the other end so rotate left through carry so here direction should be something like this you can take one example you can explain this with one example that is sufficient from the exam point of view no explanation for the explanation is required